Yeah, so uh, Emily Courtney, I'm here at the water treatment plant here, or the water treatment uh, area in uh, Lehigh. And behind the buildings, uh, just behind me, is actually the uh, reservoir. It's the sand pit reservoir, which is one of the areas that tested positive for E. coli. It's now being treated chemically. So the Lehigh Water Department began combating the, their E. coli problem in their uh, irrigation system on Monday. And they did that by a shock treatment in the sand pit and also the low hill reservoirs. So after after the initial shock treatment, a separate drip dosing system has been set up at this site at the sand pit reservoir, delivering copper sulfate into the res into the irrigation system. So it's an it's a known algicide and a bactericide. The water department is still awaiting lab tests to see how effective the treatment is. And at this time, Lehigh residents are still being advised not to use their irrigation water. We are going to continue to monitor, to treat, and to sample, and to monitor bacteria and E. coli levels. Um, there's not a time frame for when this advisory will be lifted. Like I say, we're in uncharted territory and we, we've never had to, to deal with tre treating our pressurized irrigation system before. So they are going to be installing another dosing pump at a different location. Once uh, the uh, merchandise arrives, they're waiting for a shipment to come in. Uh, otherwise, if Lehigh residents do have inquiries about E. coli and where we're at, the city has set up a, its own designated section on their website, and you can get more information there. Live in Lehigh, I'm Nate Larson. Back to you. All right, Nate, thank you.